Okay, hello and welcome. Today we're having a quick look at Funded Next with a new venture into the futures market. And we're going to scroll down and have a quick look at those. That way from the CFDs or as well as CFDs like I do. I trade both. We're on the main website now. We'll just scroll down. One of the advantages also is you can trade your futures trades with Funded Next using TradingView. And we'll go through the setup on how to set up TradingView connection in a little bit or maybe in another video. So I actually got an account whilst it was on offer the other day. I got the 20 25k plan for around about $77 instead of $129. So do keep a lookout. Should they offer any more discounts? And that worked out around about 60 pounds, 60 British pounds. For a 25k account, it's a one-off fee. It's not monthly recurring like a lot of many futures platforms are. And nor is there an activation fee should you pass the evaluation stage. But all in all, really good. Uh, you get two mini contracts or 20 micro contracts the micro being 10 times the size of a mini the target on the on the 25k is 1250 so five percent daily loss limit 600 dollars maximum loss 1250. they have a consistency rule 40 percent and a 10 percent discount on the reset should you blow the account this is not going to be a review as such because we've already done this here on OPF. This is more detailed how to set up the trading view account should you buy a futures account with Funded Next. Okay, so once you've bought your Funded Next futures account and set up your account there, you need to pop over to Tradevate. Just go to tradevate.com, sign in there for the login details that they provide on the Funded Next dashboard and we'll do that now when you sign into trade of eight you'll see this screen here so just click access simulation so now we've signed into our trade of eight account with your login details provided from the funding next this part's important because you need to do this to allow yourself to trade using trading view which is the goal of the video here over here in the top right you can see the application settings i mean you are Perfectly welcome at this stage, just to trade on the Trade of Eight site. That is fine, you can trade with Trade of Eight. But should you wish to trade using Trading View, you need to activate that first. So we're going to come over to the settings here. And then you have to come all the way over to add ons over here. And then you see in here, mine are already activated because I've already done this. It's free to do so. You need to activate the Trading View add on. Otherwise, you will not be able to sign into your, your Trade of Eight account on TradingView to trade directly on the TradingView platform. So simply click Add here. I think what it says, yeah, Activate, Activate. Sorry, I've uh, I've activated it here, so mine's already showing as done. So once you've done that, you are done with Trade of Eight. You don't need to come back here. So you can exit that now, and now we can head over to TradingView. Okay, so now we're into our Trading View screen. So we need to connect Trading View to our Trade of Eight account where we've just activated Trade of Eight. So we'll click on down here on this little section on the bottom right to expand the panel. And as you can see, you have a choice of firms here to select from. Now we're using Trade of Eight through Funded Next, so we need to click on that one log into our account here so we're just going to connect our trade of eight account to our trading view and that is done we are now connected I'll bring that up so you can see we're connected to our trade of eight account here in trading view and now we can trade at the time of recording this the weekend so we can't really trade but then we have a couple of different ways to trade. You can click the trade button down here and it opens the trade panel. As you can see, it's really easy to use. You can say stops and all that sort of stuff. Let's have a look. We can't really do anything because it's the weekend, but you get the idea. It's really simple to use. You can place market orders, stop orders or limit orders, everything you'd normally place. Okay, I'm just not gonna let us anyway, but you can do place sell orders and I quite like this feature where it highlights as you drag your stop loss out so that's kind of cool so 
but there you go so we could set that and then you set the number of contracts you wish to trade there so we do two contracts we're currently on euro dollar uh, micro contracts here so we could set a stop order there stop loss over there tp down there and then you simply sell two micro contracts and we know we're risking 65 dollars on this particular trade and it's as simple as that so that's let's shrink that down there you go so that's one way of doing it just recap that again all you do is on your trade of eight down here next to it you have a button called trade it opens the trade panel and you can simply just place your trade like that it's a great way to do it but what a lot of people like to do on trading view is they use these tools here and that's the advantage of using trading view you can place your trade like this so let's say well, we want to pull back to this zone here let's, let's not worry about the actual trade so and we're going to target these lows down here there we go so that's our trade idea for the day on trading view on the five minute chart on euro dollar so then we quite simply right click on here and select create limit order and it will open that same panel that we opened earlier by clicking the trade button down here this time though as you can see the stop loss entry point and the take profit are all set based on our setup here so all we need to then do because we're risking 486 dollars there set the number of contracts we wish to trade micro contracts in this case because we're on the m16 so if we enter say four contracts four micro contracts that's 75 dollar risk over this distance with a profit of 215 the only uh, thing you need to be aware of is it doesn't distinguish between limit and stop orders so you will find yourself get caught out a couple of times when you're expecting to limit order and it kicks you straight in at a market price because you selected limit instead of top instead of stop or stop instead of limit so just be extra careful to make sure you select the correct one at the time and then you simply click sell so it's super easy and that is the advantage of connecting your futures next through trade of eight onto your trading view account it's a lot of people will mark up and chart their trades on trading view so why not place the trades directly on trading view if we can get away with it so you just draw out your trade so you want to trade from this zone down to that zone get out to that one you simply right click on here create limit order and it opens and sets the stop loss and entry and everything for you you just need to determine your contract size down here so you and you can see the risk amount just here and also just here you can also type in the risk but then it will move it to a fixed risk not to your stop loss area so you're better off just adjusting the contract size here until you get the amount of risk you want for that trade and it's simple as that and then make sure double check you're either on stop or limit depending where the uh, trade is above price action or below price action and then click sell and that is how you connect your funded next through trade of eight to your trading view chart so thanks for watching i'll catch you next time bye bye